myself some kind of like pocket sized bollers or bolladeros whatever you call them right so that's them there I'll explain what all this is in a minute and three of them comes down to a knotted bit of string right First thing is I went against everything what everyone had said about bollers just to see if it would work. Now I've done it, I'm not 100% sure, but it could just be me. The only way you'd ever tell is if you gave these to a professional and see how they did it because I'm no professional at this. I want to get I want to try and get good at it, but I'm no professional whatsoever. So this is completely against how any other ones you'll see and I can see why some of the things so I'll have to change some of these bits so what this is the string is 270 or 270 pound breaking strain cub cord very thin but strong imagine like a free strand of paracord <coughs> uh, inside these so on the end of the string, sorry, <coughs> on the end of the string is a loop. And what's in here is, I've got any, is four five pence pieces. So in each one of these, there's four of these. Four or five peas. I'll put two together, tape them, put them between the loop on the string, and put the other two on top, tape them and tape them and tape them. Right, so for a start, the weights aren't very big and they're not round. So that's somewhat different. And what I'd also heard was you should make your uh, the the cord. What you should do is you should weave it or plait it or whatever, so it's thicker and a bit stiffer, and then it doesn't seem to get all tangled up together. Because I noticed when I was using this, constantly tangling up and having to untangle it all the time. Whereas even those other ones I made with a thicker string and the logs seemed better than these and didn't seem to tangle much and as for the length I think they're a bit short as well I think you should do I think they say yeah that when, if you hold your arms out like this like this you should have one ball in one hand and one ball in the other and that's about right well this one only goes there today see so I should have made it longer but the idea was, was I was thinking for practice, I'll make some little small ones like this, nice and light, small, for tie a knot in it like that, you know, like, a, like that, put that in my pocket, and when you want to use them, if you grab the right bits, then you could use them. But these, so far, seem much harder to use than even the, the log ones with the blue string. I suppose it was worth trying as an experiment. I don't think I'm going to keep them like this. I'm going to take this, this apart, plait some of this. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps three of these plaited together might work. Rather than paracord, I think that would be too thick. Three strands of paracord. But plait some of these. Make it the right length. And I think with once it's the right length, 
but with smaller balls I reckon that will work better but obviously what I kept having to do is instead of throwing it like with all three together I'd read that if you hold one of them and throw them like that you know spin it once and then throw it it opens up wider well with these because they're small that was the only way this was working so I'll go over now and show you the actual shooting bit or throwing bit. Right, so that was throwing them. See, look, they're tangled up now. And all I've done was brought them in and put them down. All tangled, you see. So that's definitely got to change. Uh, and I'm going to make them longer. Like I said, I like trying things, you know. I know people say, you know, whatever, this is this and that is that. But I like to have a go and see, you know, you never know. But... I think these definitely got to be longer and this has got to be stiffer so I won't bother showing you how to make this one because it's not worth it because it doesn't seem to be very good if you wanted to make one you get the gist of it definitely needs to be longer though and stiffer uh, I'll make another one and we'll have a go again anyway cheers for watching I'll see you later